Hello, good day. I have here data. Uh, this data is uh, uh, I took this data while I'm playing Free Cell. Uh, Free Cell is a game of cards. In uh, as you can see in, in this column of the data, is my score, and this one is in minutes and seconds. This is the time that it took me to finish the game, and it, and this in this also you can see here the amount of moves it take to win the game so i have here a data of free cell my game and i want to create a power function model out of it so in this video uh, we're going to describe the relationship between the score and the, the time uh, it takes for me to play the game first uh we're going to use imp we're going to import the necessary library uh, we need to import the pandas the matplot and the numpy and lastly the statist the stat models for the ordinary ordinary least square you can obtain the data in this link okay uh, if not you can just uh, Post the video and you can see in the video the data and you can just copy it and put it in the file and put it in a in your folder local folder and then uh, you can run it there you can load it there next is saying we need to load the file okay we, we issue this command uh, open the CSV file it's read only and then Mm, we can create an empty list and make a loop so every line in the file uh, will be appended to this list okay. if we uh, print the file up to uh, element 3 okay, we can see here the first line is this one score the minutes the seconds and moves and we have here the next line also is the first score minutes so it's three lines okay you print three lines next is that uh, let's, let's now put the file into a data frame using pandas so data frame is equal to pan pd that read csv function and put it here the file and we print it out okay now first three rows so as you can see uh, row one has a score of this one with certain minutes and seconds in to, it took me to play the game and here's the moves okay now we uh, as you can see these minutes and seconds they are separated so I need to uh, put them combine them together so I combine them and we put it in a variable called time okay so we access the column minutes and we add it to the column seconds before we add it we need to divide it by 60 so that it will be in minutes now we need to insert this uh, time variable to the data frame so we issue this command and df that insert uh, location is the uh, from 0 to the left to the, uh, up to the, to the right so one it means that it will be located near the score variable so the name of the column is time and the value is time this one okay so here is it now so the location is at one so this is the first location score second location is this one second so we insert it at that location okay so we have score time eight seconds moves now we need to arrange uh, actually this is not the score but we need to arrange the time the time time from smallest to largest so that we can plot it out okay so uh, we issue the command that's a df that sort values by time and ascending is true then we need also to reset the index the index is this one so that it will start again start at zero going downwards so as we can see uh, we printed it out so uh, here it is now uh, it's already been sorted out 
okay uh, so this is the time already in minutes so from smallest shortest time going to the uh, above the high the longest time now in order to plot them plot the score uh, we need to issue this command subplots so fig comma x anyway these two are just uh, variables wherein we, we put them in this plot the subplots with figure size 10 points 10 to 6 so this is the size 10 to 6 and then we have the uh, we uh, let let it know that it is a scatter plot a scatter plot so the size of the character is 100 and the color is blue and the title is score as a function of time we set the label of the y label score and x label time so here it is now so you can see it's somewhat like that curve like that it's not really straight going down like this okay but somewhat curve at the bottom okay but now we can model that function so first uh, in order to to straighten this curve we need to take the logarithm of the y here score and the logarithm of time here so as you can see log score we, we get it the function from numpy np.log okay and log score of the score variable and the log of the time variable so same procedures here it is we make a scatter plot okay and, it, uh, and we have it here now now as you can see it's almost a straight straight going down like a spear S straight going down now uh, let us review about the power function and uh, the power function is like this uh, f of x is equal to a times x raised to the b that is a power function now uh, in our case the f of x is a score okay that is the y and uh, a is a coefficient and then we have here time that is the x raised to the b okay now when we convert this one we try to solve it so we take the logarithm on both sides log of score is equal to log of a times a times time raised to the b and then uh, to the uh, the rules and logarithm so we can separate them log a log time b and then we can uh, uh, put this exponent down so b log time so this one okay this log score log a plus b times log time this is already a linear form of the power function okay Now this is a linear form. We can do now use the ordinarily square. Uh, first, we need to put it in a uh, data frame again. We just need to uh, get from the data frame df the score and the time variables, and we take the logarithm of it. Then we put it in another data frame df log, and we create the model. Model is equal to OLS score as a function of time and the data frame is the log and we fit it out and we check the model summary okay we can here see now the summary of the model so the r squared is just 0 0.806 and we have the coefficients here the uh, intercept and uh, time so technically the coefficient are statistically significant because the probability is significant it's less than 0 0.05 or 0 0.001 I'm not going to explain this anymore and these, these things because I'm, I'm we're just going to concentrate about making the model now we already know the intercept here and the time okay we need to put plug it into our function so this is uh, previously this is our linear model of the uh, power function log score equals the, we put it here okay this is the one as you can see here in the power function if you go up it is log a so this is the y-intercept 
and this is the coefficient of x and this is the y so here we go back here we can see that uh, okay log score equals 10.8 this is the y intercept and this is the coefficient of x we just log time then uh, we take the exponent e to the log score and e to the exponent of the whole term all right terms and then we get the co-exponent cancelled out so we have here score equals e to the uh, 10.8751 times the exponent of or e actually this is e it should not be exponent so this is e e raised to the like this okay so if we compute this one it will become this like this one 52844.0287 times time because this two this logarithm in e cancelled out okay okay raised to the negative 1.2082 uh, actually we can we can uh, solve the solve the predicted values using uh, our model but I'm going to uh, do it differently here and we, we're going to solve for the predicted values using this equation okay so I put it score dash a hat or the predicted value is equal to this one uh, times time and what so then the value of this will be inserted again to our data frame df okay and afterwards you can see here the location again is under one it's and the value is the score hat this data and the name of the column is a score underscore hat so here we are now so the, this is the predicted value and this is the actual value and the time it takes here okay now we're going to plot this one we plot uh, the score as well as the score underscore hat in order to plot them we need to change first these parameters although this is not necessary I just want to, sh to make it uh, the font size bigger and the primary serif okay same procedure fig the me then plot the subplots fig size then 10 is the length and the width is 6 and I make a scatter plot of the time versus the score this is the original data I make it uh, the size of the uh, points 50 and the color red and label the score and make also the align plot okay of time and the predicted values with the width of 3 and label it score underscore hat and color blue Another one is I'll make the same again, same plot, but this time I'm going to, uh, to put in the star and color it green so that we can see also with the size of 10. The location of the legend is at 1, I mean upper right hand corner, and I put in the grid lines, and also I set the title, Y label, X label. So here's the graph. Okay, so the graph shows that this is our model. It's a power function model. Okay, and uh, these are the results, the actual values. So it so much fits the data. It in uh, it, actually it's eighty percent is being if we go up, it's eighty percent has been explained by the time. So it, what this means is that. The longer you play the game, the lower your score. So it goes on and on. If you play it maybe one or two hours, maybe, so your score is very, very low already. Okay? So this is how our power function is being made using Python 3.7. Okay? Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Bye.